welcome back to another episode of Tea and Toys. And today we've got the biggest goddamn Transformer that has ever been released. War for Cybertron's Unicron. Now as you can see I have pre-opened up the naughty. Couldn't wait you see. This is the transformation booklet for Unicron. It's big, it's huge, it's like 90 steps to go from planet to Unicron in robot mode. So, what else have we got here? Let's get it open. I said I've pre-opened it up, but I thought I'd do share it with you guys, so that top bit there. And you've got central bits, I think these bits go on the arms, or on the, at least along the side of the planet mode. And you've got the wings, so all the, all the bags are sort of labelled and numbered. And you've got the stand, which is absolutely huge, nowhere to put that. And we've got the second wing, wing B. Big pit there, and you can pull this out to reveal Mr. Crom. Right, it's flapping all over the place here. I'm in the spare room, this is not the usual room where all the videos take place. And as you can see, look at that, look at the size of the damn thing. And you've got the top part of the stand here, all huge, in the sphere there. And then you've got all the, like, the additional side bits, I think this is the space shuttle. Yeah, you've got the mini, mini Rodimus and Galvatron in there. That the ship, yeah, that's the Autobot shuttle, which never appears with the Unicron, but we'll, we'll get to that. But obviously the head, which, if I'm honest, I would have preferred if the head was a part of the transformation and not a removal piece. I know that's controversial with some people, but for the money you're spending, they could have given you an extra head that you could display as the headless unicorn, all beaten up and damaged. But it is what it is. This is what we got. Part E, the head. Because I don't know about anybody else, but the part of the transforming transforms for me is that reveal of the head at the end. And you sort of see him already. Now, this is actually upside down, I realise that. And he is heavy, this is heavy. Hmm, I'm gonna pick this up without, oh, this is sharp as well. Oh. Okay, there he is, Mr. Eunice Cron. Woo. And there it is, out of the great big box. Okay, so there's Unicron next to the Unicron box. It was very well padded. You can see sort of the thick walls on the polystyrene as well. Not that anybody cares about this now, I've got it out of the box, but to say it was very well packaged. My outer box was a little bit dinged up, but it was shipped in this box. And that is, well, that's the price you pay really. <sighs> well, I'm not gonna go through too much of it because there's a lot of review videos that all do the same thing, all very similar, all very samey. So what I'll do is I'll complete him in planet mode, do a few comparisons, then transform him in robot mode, and then do some more comparisons. And From here we have Unicron in his planet mode. Now I can't even fit this in, there's literally not enough room in this room to get it all in. So you know, I apologize for anything in the background that isn't usually in the background. Obviously got Scorponok in there for Comparison. There he is next to robot mode Scorponok. Now, I am going to display Unicron in robot mode, but it's nice to see it in planet mode right now. Obviously, you can open up the mall like this. Um, I guess I do have some issues with the fact that he did use the blue plastic in there. So, yeah, it's a shame they changed this to blue. I'm not the yellow or orangey yellow, but it is what it is. They should have told the fans that before they changed it, but <sighs> never mind. And obviously we have the Autobot shuttle, which is the only ship in the entire film 
that does not interact with Unicron. So what I would have liked is to have the Junkie on ship, maybe even a crushed version, so Unicron can hold it. The Quintus on ship, again, maybe have it so you can have it docked in his eye or something, although... Put the head down there. Look, so this is the comparison between the ship and Unicorn's head, so... They could have done a dock thing. It would have looked a bit big, but they could have done a dock thing with the Quintus on ship going into the eye. It would have been nice if you could get the ship from the from the planet of Lithon, uh, Jazz's escape ship. But yeah, the Autobot shuttle, I love having it. I love miniature vehicles. And I want to see more of this. And it's a shame that the Galvatron revenge ship is more of like a gun than a ship that comes with that toy. Again, the, the revenge should have come out here. They should have had a dock bit where you could dock the revenge here. Or it, the ship could come out. That's the one thing with this Hasbro HasLab that there weren't really any stretch goals. Uh, HasLab was still very young and there wasn't really any true stretch goals. Obviously a lot of people cried and moaned about the size of the Galvatron that they released. So they released these teeny tiny stub figures, which for me personally, I think they're kind of pointless. I, I know they're a good scale with the Unicron, but it's just something that's so easy to be lost. And you can sort of stock everything on this mini stand but again it's it's something that's easily just you just don't want to have that out you just pack it away i will get out the exelon and the dark side so we can have a comparison between the ships i would love to see more of these micro machine sized ships from the transformers covering all of it like the japanese series energon armada definitely want to see more of the little ships like this but it is a unicron video so let's concentrate on unicron Actually, now as we've got the head out, let's just take off Unicron's head and stick it on Scorponop. <laughs> there it is. Well, at least you get some form of body. Oh, you can stick Scorponop. Oh, dropping everywhere. So, again, yeah, this is literally the only space in the house where I can do this, where I'm allowed to do this. Yeah, still looking good. Well, let's get on to robot mode. One of the other features on Unicorn is that you can change out the faceplate. Now this is something I would have preferred if they just gave you a separate Unicorn head. Maybe scaled a bit bigger, so you can have like, a few other features with it. But it is what it is, so you can obviously change out the Unicorn head. Or you can have two different chins. Now I don't really see the point in the two different chins personally. But it is what it is. Another thing you can remove that and you can have the eyes move just like they do in uh, the Ghost in the Machine episode when Starscream and Scourge have to do three labours for Unicorn in order for Starscream to get his life back. There we go. Right. It is quite cool to give this detail. I, I, I don't know, I just... It's just not necessary. Because... Uh, like the eye moving feature, you can't really see when you've got the uh, head on anyway. So let's get the, sorry, the faceplate on anyway. You can sort of see a little bit, but outside of when the, the faceplate isn't on, it's just, I don't know, it's kind of a redundant little feature. You know, an action man eyes. But we have it. And then obviously you can stick the head on. Unicron like so. And here he is, in robot mode. Little big box in the background. Now, my one's shoulder here, there's like a, a, there's like a little clip. It just would not clip in, so I've had to literally push it and make sure that stayed in. Um, I didn't like this section here. This just felt a bit flimsy and a bit thin for me on the Unicron. Because if you move it wrongly, you actually don't need want to move up the arm I could see that snapping off I, I really could see that snapping off so yeah just if you get it be super careful with the shoulder this blue shoulder piece here just be super careful but he is a big figure you know he, he's heavy Let's try and spin him round 
And it is kind of a shame you get a lot of this. Now, I don't, I'm not one for complaining about back kibble, but there is a lot of it. <laughs> and you do get a lot of it on the legs as well. But there we go. But, and it's a shame it's not readily removable. It would be nice if it was something you could actually just have him displayed without all the extra panels. But they do sort of fold down okay, and you can sort of clip them in. Might need to be a bit clipped down a bit better that side. But like I said, it is what it is. They've done what they've done, and it is good. It is a good little thing. Well, I say a little figure. It is a good big figure. Just a few extra features I would have liked. Like I said before, I would like of all the ships that he did actually interact with. I would have liked, like you get the little stub figures, would have liked like a, a little attachment of the Dinobots kicking his bum, as they do, but obviously because of how of all the bits and bobs. I couldn't really see it very well, but there's obviously attack his bum there. But a nice little Dinobot attachment there. Maybe when they sort of launch out of him at the end of the movie, like when there are all the cars, sort of a little clip-in piece there. It doesn't have to be to scale, like the stub figures. They could just be like a little clip-on you can stick in there. With all the ships. Oh, there's a few other things I was discussing with a friend of. The more things they could have added to it. And I get a lot of the money went into the engineering for this bad boy. And what you, you I think you do get your value for money. I do. But I would have liked some more extras, because why not? I can ask for more. Oh, right, okay. There he is. Let's get him with the first of all the comparisons I've been doing. I've been picking on Scorponok somewhat. Here he is with Scorponok. Some of the other features I also would have liked from Unicron. Just silly little things like like attachments for laser eyes, an attachment for his um, what's his chaos typhoon mouth ray that he has, just little add-ons that would have, I don't know, made it more of a figure. I know third parties are going to be doing it, but it would be nice if Hasbro gave us some official like, uh, attach on lasers and stuff like that that he does in the movie. Okay, so here we have all of the currently released stub figures. This is the original, oh wow how small they are, this is the original Optimus Prime that came with the Sentry Drone character. Now this one could arguably be the dead Optimus Prime now, because they are actually doing a red version of this in the upcoming ARC toy. We've got Galvatron. And then we have Rodimus Prime. I, I, like I said before, I don't see much point in these, um, they're just little things that will get lost. So. They'll probably live in this little bag and never come out again. Okay, so here we have all of the officially released Transformers ships that aren't the ones in the, the Titanium series that they did. I think they did another Autobot shuttle or arc in that series. And uh, we've got the 10th anniversary Exelon and the 10th anniversary Darkseid with the new Unicron Autobot shuttle. Now, it's a shame this actually isn't a bit bigger and you can't sort of split it apart I mean, just more of it, like I said on the main part of the video, like the, there weren't any stretch goals for this. It would have been nice to have like a full fleet of ships. But ones that obviously, all of them would have been, that started in the film, would have been great additions to the Unicron toy, 100%. Let's do like a full comparison on the bottom. I must admit, the reason I got the 10th anniversary Optimus Prime and Megatron all those years ago was for the ships and they're the bits I kept and sold off the figures thoroughly enjoy it so let's get a few other franchises ships from a few other collector lines so we've got the Dreadnought class USS Vengeance now this is the Hot Wheels and then we've got the Cardassian Keldon class ship from Micro Machines now I love the Cardassian ships I was going to pick up the Gala class but I just love the Keldon class, even though it's completely ugly, but I just absolutely love that design. And we've got an Imperial Star Destroyer. And a ball cube being eaten by Unicron. Because they're not adapting to this bad boy. They're not adapting. 
he's eating them all up. And one last comparison. Here we have Unicron next to Fortress of Maximus, the former holder of the largest Transformer to exist, official Transformer to exist. I'm sure there's a few other third parties that are probably absolutely gigantic. And I've got a few other size classes there with Unicron. We've got that's my only commander class, uh, Skylinks. We've got Voyager size Grapple, Leader size Beast Wars Megatron. We've got Deluxe Bumblebee, and we've got little core size Vertebrate. Well, what do you think of Unicron? Uh, I like it. It's good. I'm glad it's finally came. It's been anticipated for the well, best part of a year. And as ever, don't forget to love, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.